It's the November Tombow box and I'm so excited to share this VIP box with you because there is something that I personally am very excited about in here. So let's dive in and see what you've got. Now the Tombow box this month is valued at over $50, but it's available as a $30 VIP box. And it's not a subscription box, it's a one-time only purchase. And I have to say that this is one that I'm very excited about and this is why. For the first time in many decades, I think since 1989, there are new Tombow colors. And if you happen to have this beauty, this big Tombow case, you are going to be able to fill those few extra spaces with these 12 colors. Let's open them up and see all of the different components that are sent in the November VIP Club box. Now, as you can see, this box is geared towards these 12 new colors and being able to blend them, store them, and practice with them easily and well. And you can see it also looks like Tombo really wanted to expand on the blue colors that they had. I personally am really excited about this deep, rich blue, which they are calling, and you can see on the new color chart, the new ones all have a little asterisk beside it. This new blue is called Jet Blue, and it's a deep, rich blue, and I've been asking them for a nice, deep, rich blue, so I'm excited to see how this one works. Then we have quite a few of those aqua tones in different saturations, a few more blues. This looks like a very light aqua, and then a slight greenish yellow and two pinks. But as we all know from these Tombow pens, you can't tell what they look like from the cap. Let's test them out in one second as soon as we look at this. What is this little handy dandy thing? It is a pen case that fits your dual brush pen. And I've been looking for one of these. I wanna be able to put all my dual brushes into one like this. So unfortunately, this only fits your favorite 12 or your brand new 12. But it's a great way to be able to pop some of those pens into your purse without having to cart this puppy along. There's also a small zipper on the side with a little pocket area so that you can put a pencil or an eraser or a sharpener or a hair tie if your hair happens to get in your way while you're lettering. It simply then wraps up, twist it shut, and you're ready to go. This color chart is a color chart on one side and a blending palette on the other if you choose to do your blending like that. There's also a little guide to show you how you can use this to create some different blended techniques. Like I mentioned, we have this new color chart, and in this color chart, the new pens all have their asterisks, and we're gonna see how they work in just a second. But first, I wanna show you that if you're still practicing your letters, this is one option of a lettering style that you can choose to practice. These are laminated cards, and that means that you can practice your letter over and over without ruining the tip of your pen, and you can simply then wipe it off and use it again. Enough looking at the stuff. Let's test out these pens. Now I have placed all of the pens in color order, but I am very well aware that the cap color doesn't always match what's inside. I haven't tried any of these pens out yet, so your guess is as good as mine. This is the Tombow 803, the new color called Pink Punch. And this has an orange base to it. It's a really unique color, and I think that this is probably going to be a frequently used pen for me, so I might need to buy two of these boxes. So that is Pink Punch 803. Next we have 817. This one is Mauve. 
Yes, it is. Right now I'm using a mixed media pad and that is not ideal for these pens. I should probably be using something smoother like a Rhodia, but I also know that when I use my brush pens, I tend to write very largely because the tips are so large. So make sure that even if you're using a Rhodia, you're scaling up your lettering so that it is still on scale with the size of the nib. This one is number 131, which is Lemon Lime. I really like the names that these they've picked for these. And I feel like the names are pretty on par with what the pens look like. This one has a very lemon lime quality to it. It's a bit light, but I think that that will be a great complement to some of the other greens and also a really great base for blending. Even though it's so light, you can always do a second layer as well to deepen the color. That's one nice thing about these pens is that they are additive. So as you do more and more layers, the color gets more and more saturated. Next up we have 291, which is named Alice Blue. This one, as the cap would suggest, does have a touch of green to it. I feel that while many of the older caps of, I guess the pens that were created a very long time ago, have somewhat deceptive color tones, this one is pretty spot on. It has a green and a blue mixing together. I am noticing though that there's quite a bit of fall off between the two areas of color where it's more saturated and less saturated. So you will wanna keep that in mind as you're using this pen and it will be great for blending, but you might need to go in and do a second coat just to make sure that those upstrokes are also nicely saturated and showing off well in any final piece that you do. I do think that I am in love with this color though. Our fifth new color looks very similar, but without the green tones. So that is what I am assuming for number 401 here, which is called Aqua. Now, it's a little bit brighter than I would think from the cap. This seems to have a bit of a gray tone, but it's really close. And even though these two pens looked quite similar side by side, I love how they're actually very, very different on the paper, which means that they are both going to be a great addition to any dual brush collection. Next up, we have 403, which is bright blue. This one in my batch has a very solid tip. It would be interesting to know if that is because of the one that I got or if yours ends up being a little bit more forgiving and a little bit stiffer than some of the other pens. Let me know about that one if you can in the comments if you happen to grab one of these VIP boxes. I know that Tombow is expecting these to sell out quite quickly, so make sure that if you are on the fence, you don't wait. But if you just want these pen colors and you don't necessarily want all of the other things in the VIP box, I'm hoping that they will have this as its own separate pen set out pretty soon. Now this one is called Tiki Teal, number 407. Again, it's a very unique color. I like that these colors are all very different than the ones that are ex already existing inside the set. We also have 349, and this is Jade Green. I always expect Jade Green to be a little bit more green than the blue that this cap is showing, but let's see what the actual pen looks like. And it's definitely a beautiful, rich blue-green, but very nice and dark. And these saturated colors, while you might think that they're really dark, when you are doing your blending, if you have a dark color in there pulling it all together, it really looks deep and rich and pops right off the page. So that's 379 Jade Green. Next we have 569, which is that jet blue that I'm so excited about. Let's see if my excitement is going to pay off. 
wow, that is exactly what I was looking for. It's so dark and I love the way that the color fall off goes. There's a big difference in the amount of ink that's put down when you're going slow and when you're doing your quick upstrokes and look at the gradient that that has created. I'm really, really excited about this pen. And now I'm very honest with my reviews. I have definitely said some things about some Tombow products like their brand new feud pens that have come out that some of the colors just weren't as rich as I was hoping for. And Tombow actually wrote back to me on that and they said, we really appreciate that you're telling the truth about our products. And that's what I always try to do because I never want to tell you to buy something that I am not excited about myself. So this color is called Opal. I like that, it's my birthstone. I feel like it could be called Peach. And I don't think that this is going to be a color that I would have on high rotation, but it's always nice to have a few more of those light tones available in your collection. Next up we have N49, and this is Warm Gray number eight. This gray has a slight brown base and it definitely does have that warmth. Now I would probably use this as a brown as opposed to a gray, but I think that it will make a really nice addition to my browns. This one was number N49. And then we actually have another gray as well and this one is N52. N52 is called Cool Gray 8. And it definitely is a cool gray with a blue base to it. This one makes me think of penguins and I was gonna say puppies, but those would be sad puppies because they'd be really cool. But this one makes me think of a nice winter scene and could be perfect for some winter blending. So now you have seen all of the new colors in action. I would say that other than the opal, I am super excited about all of them and I can't wait to use them in many of my upcoming blended pieces. Remember that for now, these are only available as part of Tombow's November VIP box. Again, it's not a subscription box. It's a one-time purchase. This one's $30 and the value is always higher than what you actually get in the box. Now, I do not post or create videos about all of these boxes. This is only the second one that I have been excited enough to share with you on a video. So please don't feel that I am just pushing Tombow's products. I am absolutely not. I am just telling you because I think that these are something that if you're into the dual brush scene, you will want to add these into your collection.